Tonight, more parents are speaking out in opposition to a local school district's decision to hold graduation at a church. Good evening, everyone. We thank you for staying with us at 530. I'm Colleen Marshall. I'm Mark Taylor. Now, some Groveport Madison students are faced with a tough decision of whether to get their diplomas with their classmates or stay home. NBC 4's Tyler Beckham has been talking with students and parents and the district. He's joining us live now at Groveport Madison with the reason one student says won't be at graduation this year. Yeah, it'd be a big decision, right? Uh, I should say up front here that here at Madison Township isn't certainly isn't the first or only high school to hold their graduation at World Harvest. Graduates of Hamilton Township, Canal Winchester, and Pickerington, they've all had ceremonies at World Harvest, but some say it is a, a decision they don't agree with, and they're taking a pretty firm stand. It's a church. I believe in God, but... Linda Love is giving her son a lesson in standing up for personal beliefs. There are some things that I'm against, too, but I don't preach that. And in this instance, it's pretty personal, religion, specifically the beliefs preached at Megachurch World Harvest Church, home to controversy over its pastor's conservative views. They're against Muslims. Um, they're against gay marriages. And home in June to graduation ceremonies for Groveport Madison High School's class of 2020, her son Bertie Barton's class. I probably won't attend, and I don't agree that they're forcing kids to go. The Groveport School District says World Harvest Church is the least expensive alternative at $10,000, considering its proximity, size, and free parking. Space is limited inside the new state of the art high school, and temperatures could be uncomfortably warm outside on the football field, they say. Parents like Lena Edmiston, who attended graduation at Groveport Madison last year, understand the dilemma. It was a mess. Just not the decision. Anywhere that's not faith based, plain and simple. Make it fair to all of the kids with all of the vast religions that are going to be in the high school. To me, it's discrimination. Um, knowing that that preacher preaches against their religion. Love and her son say unless something changes, they won't be attending. I, I want to be on the side of people that offended and like that that don't want to go themselves because of the beliefs that they're trying to kind of push on them. I think. In response to our story today, the district sent us a written statement reading in part, quote, before making rash decisions or skipping graduation altogether, let's see how it goes this year. It won't be hard to know if people attending this year's graduation find the facility to be less than what we all expect. If that's the case, the district will look at other options for the years to follow. Local for you at Groveport Madison High School, Tyler Beckham, NBC4.